I walked into this interview. When I wore my uniform, I thought I was, to be honest, hot shit. You know, I got this nice, you know, I got all my medals on my chest and was just like, yeah, dude, I'm going to I'm gonna go in there. I'm going to rock the shit out of this interview. And, you know, I walked in there, head tall, you know, just like, see that? That's combat action. I was like, yeah, I got this. You get out thinking that it's, you're going to be, you know, this veteran, you know what I mean, cool, like a high-class citizen. I have a Purple Heart uh, because I was wounded in combat. I thought I was going to bring it in and be like, hey, man, you know, you're you're a war hero. You're like, that, that's free awesome. Come on board. You're good. But uh, that, that wasn't the case. When I first got out, I mean, I took I six months. I couldn't find a job. I spent a year looking for a job. A year. The jobs weren't as good as I thought they should be. Hey, you're a Marine. Why don't you mop this floor? <laughs> you're in the military. Perfect. We have a security position. It's $9 an hour. You'll love it because you get to hold a gun again. There's jobs available. But I feel like there's employers out there who are just avoiding hiring veterans. When they see the the Marine Corps on my resume, their mind goes off into... Mindless drone. Brainwash. Uneducated. Is this infantry Marine gonna one day snap? They don't want you diving under a desk if someone drops something. Get down! <laughs> it's that Hollywood PTSD, you know what I mean? People see these movies, you know, these guys freaking out. They think that I'm the same way. I've got feelings. I've got emotions, I've got a family, I've got morals, I've got values. I mean, I just don't understand why somebody wouldn't hire a veteran. We have a drive and we have that work ethic. I mean, you can give us more responsibility than anybody else. I mean, I've known guys who were 19 and they're in charge of a squad in Afghanistan, you know what I mean? And you're in charge of eight lives. You know, we're, we're, we're a society where being in the military means something. And it's very special. When a lot of countries, you know, being in the military, the military is a guy that pushes the people around. In America, the military is a guy people that protect you. We've been out of the game for a bit doing this over here. <laughs> Can you give us a little? Give me a chance. Let me prove myself. We're now looking for special handouts. Uh, just a, you know, a little bit of a nudge in the right direction because, you know, we've been doing some other things. Uh, that you guys haven't. <laughs> I cannot tell you how many times I heard this. Thank you for your service. That's always appreciated. It never gets old. It never gets old. Um, of course, uh, a job's better. You know, you can you can tell me thank you, but are you willing to let that guy sit right next to you in the cubicle or office for the next eight hours for the next fifteen years? Give him a chance. So I say, give him a give him a chance. It's all about adapting and doing more with less in the military. So you know, just give him a chance.